Hi everybody, I am Tane Danger. It's Give to Gus Davis Day. I've actually been doing Give to Gus Davis Day for several years. The last two years I've been here, we've been inside the construction of the Nobel Hall of Science, which is now actually like complete. Look at this thing, it looks beautiful from here. And so I wanted to ask somebody about what this has all been like. I have the absolute best person to talk to not you, Gus. Gus is the best. I'm gonna, no, you're great. But Gus, you're an expert in all these things. So I don't know, Gus, we should walk and talk. And can you tell me a little bit about Nobel here? It's, um, it's been under construction for several years, right? Yeah. I know, and do, do you understand what? Yeah. What's yeah, it? okay. Yeah, it's been under construction for several years. Gus has done a lot of tours on uh -huh. campus oh. and been accompanying that. And for the past several summers, it's been a construction construction zone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So, yeah. What does it look like out here but until relatively recently? A bunch of fences have been out here. A lot of a big construction zone. It's just something you'd expect. A lot of noise, dirt. Yeah, the dirt gets in your hair. I know. I know. It's no good. And but it's looking beautiful now. I mean. Can you just tell me a little bit about what it means to like have this finished and done now? It's so good. It's awesome. It's wonderful. The classrooms look really good and it offers a good study space for students. Yeah, yeah that's good. And I, I, there's this cool part here, if we can pan over, like this is where the old Nobel meets the new Nobel. It seems there's some like amazing metaphor there, right? Of like the past and the future and I know you're like a poet uh, Gus so if you can just give us like your favorite like analogy mm -hmm. well Gustavus celebrates the past and the present here on campus so alumni come and visit all the time and old Nobel is still here but we're trying to make it better for the students who are here now and so it's just kind of a bridge almost literal literally bridge that's beautiful. I love it. Gus, you're a poet. That's fabulous. Okay, I'm going to ask you something totally unrelated, but it's just like a selfish desire of mine, which is, uh, people may or may not know, I uh, was uh, integral, I founded the improv comedy company, Gustavus Linus. So, Gus, I don't know, do you know anything about Linus and how it's doing now? Absolutely. Gus is so excited about Linus. Gus loves Linus. It's his favorite thing to do on Friday or Saturday nights. Linus at Ninus. And you like it because you're a lion and it's Linus, you know? And it, they do short form improv, which is a bunch of games and Gus loves to play, so. Gus, you, uh, you are a poet and a scholar and I'm so grateful for this time that we had together. I don't know, any last things that you want to just leave people with on this Give to Gustavus Day you want them to know? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for seeing our wonderful campus and give some money so we can make more new Nobels in the yeah. future. We got to make several new Nobels. So thank you for making the pitch so directly. Thank you very much for being our fabulous interpreter. All right, it's Give to Gustavus Day. Uh, new Nobel, it's beautiful. Linus is really fun. All right, we'll see you soon. I don't know why I have this pumpkin, but <laughs> I think wonderful. that's funny. Okay.